In the first of many, Pamela Guest is telling an important story, her story. Pamela is here to talk about this award-winning and very timely short film. Hi, Pamela. Hi, nice to have Hi, you guys. Here. Thank you so, for having me. Uh, well, we appreciate you coming because this is such an important topic, especially in this day and age. And I think having you here to tell your story is important. So what happened to you and how did this film come to be? Okay, well, what happened is I had an unfortunate audition in 1971 when I was still a student at the University of Michigan. I went to what I thought was going to be my first professional audition for a movie, and I arrived, and a woman let me in, and then she left, me alone with the director, and he asked me to take off my clothes. I protested. He said, no, no, you have to do it because this is what, how it's done in show business. I took my clothes off, and he raped me. Oh, my God. So I protested, you know, no, no, no. He had taken my glasses, because and I'm very nearsighted, so I couldn't see anything. I, he had taken my purse, and she had taken my coat. I had no access to my keys. My it, I felt trapped and, um, and did what I could to protest, but ultimately it happened. Um, and in 1971, yeah. uh, women had very little voice, and I don't think people realize right. how, what, what happened, you yeah, know, what the right. environment was back then. Right. And, and so you're in a situation where you're completely vulnerable, you're by yourself, you have nowhere to turn. Right. How did you deal with all of that? I didn't. You know, I told my boyfriend and my two best friends at the time, and they all counseled me not to report it. Because of, course, of that was the environment, yeah. you know, and later I've, I've heard from lawyers and stuff that they've had trouble getting, uh, getting it out there to um, be in, get indictments even with 12, 13, 14 women, you know. It's, wow. So me by myself, it would have been. And, you know, I always, there, there's this thing I learned is that when something that the mind can't handle happens, you lock it away and then you also, with the phrase, it was my fault. Oh. Because then the mind goes, oh, well, at least I had some part in it. It wasn't completely beyond my control, you know? So that it was my fault also made me feel a little shame and that I couldn't report it, you know, that I would be judged before even being there. Pamela, you know? the story is, like, as you tell it, breaks my heart. So uh, I, yeah. don't, I don't know how, when you lock something away like that, how you can then bring it back to the forward of your brain and then regurgitate it in a film and then have your daughter play you <laughs> in it. Like, how do you even have the strength to do such a thing? Well, I, I frankly don't know, except that I found out very randomly who the guy was in 2013 by reading an article on the internet. His daughter was in my acting company and I had Googled her and found out that there was an article, The Curious Case of Joseph and Nicholas Brooks. And the son was at that time on trial for murdering his girlfriend. And the father had killed himself the night before uh, he was to go to trial for 153 counts of sexual assault. He had done this since it happened to me in 1971 Repeatedly. for 40 years. And oh nobody God. had ever brought him to justice. So here, here you are making, you've made this film. Tell me what we are to take away from that film, like because well, 12 minutes doesn't seem like to be a very long time to, to kind of get through the, your life story. Well, it isn't my life story. It is that event. It's just the event. Just the event. And okay. then what happened after, which is I wrote the movie. I didn't intend ever to, um, to have it be out in the world, but I did it as a healing exercise, and it's kind of my art form, you know, it's mm -hmm. film and TV mm -hmm. and stuff. Sure. Anyway, so I wrote it um, and randomly submitted it to a film festival in Amsterdam and won second prize for wow. the script. And my daughter, who's a wonderful actress and filmmaker, That's her right there. said, yes, that is her. <laughs> That's adorable. Thank wonderful. you. <laughs> yes. Saying, um, anyway, so she said, why don't we make it, Mom? I, I want to really play you. Maybe it'll, it'll help you heal from this event. Mm -hmm. And maybe it'll help other people. And so we shot it in 2015. And we're done by the time all the other tsunami things. of people coming forward happened. And, and the Me Too movement. Yeah. Wow. The Me Too movement. Yeah. So it yeah. just so happened to coincide with everything yes. at the right time. Yes. And it, so it kind of has catapulted me into a position of being a spokesperson for survivors and silence breakers and yeah. um, doing a lot of work on everyone's behalf. Um, I, I want to just close with trying to understand mm -hmm. where all the other what have other people, other survivors, said to you about, about this, this film? 
well, they're all very moved, you know, because it humanizes the experience. You know, it's one thing to hear the story and me tell you. It's another thing to see my daughter so brilliantly portray the young innocent mm -hmm. who just stumbles upon this terrible event, you know, and my life was forever changed. I had a lot of talent, still do as an actor, but I stopped myself from going forward. I think in my mind, it was always associated the pain of this event with success as an actor. So I held myself back and um, once I found out and started dealing with it, I played the lead in the movie, got some awards, and now I'm an actress again. That's Congratulations. So, yeah. Yeah. so where can people see the film? It is distributed by Shorts TV International. It's on DirecTV, it's on iTunes, and other outlets that they have. So All right. the first of many. That's the name Emily, of the film. Thank you Emily for sharing Guess. Thanks your so much for being story. here. My Appreciate gosh. You sharing that. Yeah. Thank you. I know Absolutely. it's tough to, uh, to keep talking forward, about it. I get better forward. every time You're I talk doing, about you it. You did great. You so, did great. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to the new projects as well. Yes, thank Thanks so much, Pam.